Hi and welcome to Literary Hype. I am Stephanie, your Literary Hype Woman. And in case you haven't seen this face around, this is my boyfriend John, and we are teaming up to do a video together today. So the show Daisy Jones and the Six is coming out that is based on a book, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have read the book. I definitely have not. And what do you know about the show going into it? Nothing. Not so, a clue. I know they're set in the 70s, that's all I know. So this will be a fun little experiment to see, kind of compare what someone who has read the books, I gave it a four star rating, uh, versus someone who has not read the books and what they think of the show. Um, so shout out to Prime Television for sending me an advanced copy of the show so we can have this fun little experiment. Are you excited? Stoked. <laughs> Okay, so let's go watch 10 hours of TV. Daisy Jones and the Six, let's go. Five episodes in, so we're at the halfway mark. How are you liking it so far? Um, I think it's I think it's a great show. I um, I I have a background in music, so I very very much like music, and I I nailed who this story was loosely based on. It was impossible. He did yell, <laughs> "I knew it!" when he looked it up. Because if that's not a accurate representation of Stevie Nicks, I don't know who it is. But I think it it was it was great. Um, there was a few things that I had brought up that we talked about that maybe weren't that were better in the book or presented differently in the book than they were uh, on film. Um, we have paused the show a few times to to hash out some of the the scenes and like mm, well it happened differently in the book so I'm gonna have different feelings about it. Um, but yeah. So one of the things that we discussed is uh, that apparently Billy is far more tyrannical in the book than he is than he is on the show, uh, because that's one of the things that I brought up. Is it feels like he's he's trying to um, work together, and she's kind of steamrolling, and so the, I don't feel like because of what you told me about the book, I don't feel like that's portrayed very well in the show um, because it definitely wasn't, apparently Billy wasn't as, I don't want to say easy to work with, but he wasn't as um, willing to give as he seems in the book as he seems to be in the show. And so I don't feel like it's it gives like, either one of them straight a fair up place. representation. Yeah, there's a, there's straight up a place where Billy tells El Eddie to play around with the part. And if you've read the books, you know that that was quite the battle. Um, just in general, I feel like the characters are a lot more muted in the show than they were in the books. I mean, you you see Daisy taking drugs, but she doesn't really act high either um like camilla there's a lot of drugs and there's even more in the book there's a lot of drugs it's a lot in the book sex drugs and rock and roll true that um but yeah like even camilla feels more muted like she's not kind of pulling the strings like she was in the book um but yeah like over there are let's see is the essence of the book there in the show? So far, yes. However, there are a lot of changes. Like a lot. Like there's no Pete. Pete is not in the show. They're, they're called the six, but there are only five. There is no Pete. If you read the book, you might have, you, you, you can guess why. Um, but like the Chuck storyline is different. Um, there's a lot of detail changes, and I don't particularly like all of them. <laughs> As one who reads any book to screen adaptation, you're gonna have that kind of vibe of like, well, but the details. So the essence is there. So I'm still enjoying the show, and it is nice to, instead of reading the lyrics, to actually like hear what was going on. 
Although I don't really recognize the lyrics from the book entirely. So I need to double check on those. But as of right now, they're not ringing any bells. Anything else you want to say? No. Okay, so we have five more episodes to go. I think we're going to watch maybe one or two more tonight. And then we'll finish it up tomorrow. But they didn't put up a fight, they put her name at the top of the Christmas they had the number three the song the in the country. And the number nine song in the country. Pokemon Bands and Midnight Special. Midnight Special. There were rumors about Saturday Night Live. All the shows were so on now. New Days Band all the time. I wouldn't really say fight. <laughs> <laughs> so as someone who hadn't read the book didn't know what was happening without any spoilers what did you think of daisy jones and the six and the tv show i think it's a great story i think that it's um it, it's that time was well spent on a lot of the different areas that they touched on though i am based off of what you said finding out that it's very different from the book in in some cases but i i thoroughly enjoyed it the last um you know towards the you have a, a lot of bombs at the end some of them you sort of expect and some of them you very much don't and i think it, it was wonderful you teared up a little bit didn't you i did <laughs> i'm a crier i do that um so yeah. Again, the essence of the book is there, but there are a lot of changes. A lot. Uh, and I'm, I struggle with what to say because there is, they do give you a very long list of things that you cannot talk about. Um, and some of those are plot point changes that I want to flip tables about. Some of the stuff did not need. Oh, one thing that's not on the list in the book. He has twins after Julia, and in the show he does not, he just has Julia. So that's just like, there's a whole bunch of really little things that they changed that just like, okay, that, why, why? Um, it, like Pete not being in the show at all, um, certain characters that do not survive the early pages, survive, and some who were supposed to die later on, don't. And it's just like, um, can you make that noise one more time? <laughs> yep, that one. Um, yeah, so without saying too much, without spoiling anything and getting the fine folks over at Amazon mad at me, um, I will just say that there are a lot of changes and it's enough that if you've read the book, you will still be a little bit surprised here and there. Um, you might be angry and not surprised, but you will still be surprised-ish. Um, 
they don't completely stick to the book as no one ever does. But yeah, overall, it's still a good show. I just, they dial down the characters so much. Like, I feel like- You're very they, upset about that. Yeah, well, okay. So in the book, like, the three girls are so strong in themselves and not gonna let anybody push them around. And they still do a little bit of that, but there are certain things that I cannot speak about because they're on the list. But it's, it kind of takes away their power a little bit instead of get them making the choices for themselves. And I, I don't, that makes me sad. And I know you're trying to figure this out. I can tell in your face that you're like, I don't know. What I just don't, I don't feel like any where in there. And I mean, I, I definitely could miss something, but I don't feel anywhere where their power is taken away. Okay. Except for maybe Camille. Yeah, so Camilla is... Yeah, Camilla. She, she has some really great moments in the book that just like, yes, girl, yes. Like, she owned her life in that book. And then the way it plays out in the show, she doesn't own it as much as she does in the, in the book. And that's what... So it's like, yeah, it's not like everything she was having things forced on her but she wasn't taking the control that she was in the book and so and that's one of the things i liked about the book is that the women owned their crap and if you've read the book then you'll you'll probably understand where i'm coming from a little bit more i really feel like a lot of the decisions that they were made or that were made they made in spite of what other people thought or how it may affect them valid uh, I'll just say, I'll put it this way. There is a conversation between Daisy and Camilla toward the end that did not happen remotely the same way on film as it did in the book. Between who? Daisy and Camilla. Okay. Very different way it plays out in the book and that whole like ending. So the ending plays out very differently. You get the same result, but the steps that get there are different. And I, I kind of like the way that they played out in the book. Sue me. I'm not saying it's a bad show. It's still an enjoyable show. It's just, it's that that bookworm fandomness that you love the book, and then when you see it on on screen, you just kind of are like, why did you that? If you had just watched the show and not read the book, you would definitely be less angry. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like I'm not saying it's a bad show. I enjoyed the show. I'm just. That's that. why I'm living in bliss. <clears throat> <laughs> it's definitely worth a watch. I loved it. Loving loving music, I loved I loved the show. Well, there you have it, folks. It's a good show. Just if you read the books, you might be a little angry. Or you might think that these are good changes. Let me know in the comments what you think once you've watched the show. Um, and we shall discuss. I'm very eager to discuss the adaptation on this. Um, but in the meantime, if you are not already subscribed to the Literary Hype channel, make sure you do that and turn on your notifications and give this video a like. If you want to see more of him around, uh, maybe I'll drag him into more stuff. Don't make that face. No. Okay, like it whether or not you want him involved again in the future, but if you want him involved in the future, drop a comment. Um, is that fair enough? I guess. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see you later.